next year I'm getting married and I've been working on a few lighting ideas just for the reception room, just seeing what could be interesting or fun. And something that's always kind of interested me are the gobo style lights. So this is where you project a, a lighting pattern through a stencil. So really kind of plain and simple and I think they look quite cool, but quite expensive. So I've been trying to come up with a DIY solution. It's a really kind of very, it's a really crude thing, but this was just a test. And so to get this far, I took one of these 10 pound eBay pin spot lights. It's just an LED at one end and a lens at the other and kind of separated those two bits out. Through a bit of trial and error, I was able to find the right spacing, which allowed me to have a, a stencil in the middle and have that focused on the beam that comes out. So the lens there, the light source there, I think it's kind of roughly in the middle. And so that allowed me to then move on to something a little bit more professional. And I've ended up with this. So the final light is made from three 3D printed parts and the rear end of the pin spot light and the front lens. So I dismantle this part. So you've got the front lens that is mounted or push fit into a 3D printed holder that fits snugly and gets screwed in to place on the front. At the back, there is an adapter pouch. It's one of these. This fits over the existing kind of mounting points on the light, bolts into place using the existing hardware and then slots into here and again is held in with a few screws. And in the middle is the actual uh, gobo or stencil itself. That is uh, just a kind of paper cut stencil mounted in a 3D printed holder. And all of this fits into a small segment of downfall pipe. Now, because this is such a low powered light, these stencils can quite easily be made from paper. They're unlike a real gobo light where it will be made from uh, steel or aluminium. This uh, paper works really, really well. So I've used a vinyl cutter to cut these out for different patterns, but you could easily do something by hand. And they are designed to kind of glue into these little carriers. The idea being you'd have a selection of these around and just put in the one you want. So I've used little bits of kind of super glue to glue this in, but there's probably better ways to do that. And so these that just slot in and hold in place with a single screw. So these lights do have a number of problems. They're not particularly bright and they haven't, don't have a particularly good range. But for a £10 spotlight and a little bit of time, I am really pleased with the end result of this. It's a genuinely usable thing. And I could easily see a few of these being used on the day just to add a little kind of nice touches to maybe signs or directions.